Hi, my name is Asia D'Antonio, and when I was little, I wanted to be five different things. The first thing I wanted to be was a princess. What little girl doesn't want to be a princess? But I realized that living on a budget of cheese and crackers, I couldn't quite be a princess. The next thing that I wanted to be was a firefighter. I really wanted to be a hero. But being in a classroom full of students, especially boys, they disapproved of being a firefighter when you're a little girl. Then I wanted to be a vet. I truly loved animals, and because of my love for animals, I thought it was a wonderful idea. But after taking my animals to the vet and realizing that occasionally you have to cut the animals open for surgeries, it disturbed me. <laughs> then, because of my love for animals, I thought I could be a cat trainer. <laughs> and the idea of holding a hula hoop in front of my cat and having the cat jump through was phenomenal to me. But knowing cats being not the most cooperative animals, my cat eventually walked around the hula hoop to get the treat instead of going through it. Finally, the last thing that I wanted to be was an art teacher. I loved art, and art pulled me through all of my hard times. And from early childhood, I realized that I wanted to be an art teacher. So I've been given this excellent opportunity to be an intern at Ka'ele Pulu and Manawili Elementary Schools. And I go down and I help teach the art classes. With this particular picture, I was teaching the kindergartners how to draw their favorite pets. This is a bunny. <laughs> My first instinct was to go and help the child create this bunny. And I walked over to him and I said, you know, most bunnies don't have floppy ears like this. And he looked at me and said, not my bunny. <laughs> and I said, again, correcting him, you know, most bunnies don't have six legs. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, not my bunny. And this is when I realized, who am I to say that any child cannot have a six-legged bunny? <laughs> and who is anyone to say that we cannot nurture these children's creativities? Sir Ken Robinson said that creativity is just as important as literacy. We need to nurture this creativity because we need to think outside our canvases. And as we grow older in this ever-evolving world of technology, we need this creativity. Now, as we get a little bit older, we start to incorporate art into a lot of different subjects, such as reading and writing and math. And Like, for example, with math, we tend to draw pictures. But I've discovered that in a lot of schools, they're missing out on this, not just because they don't have an art teacher, but because of budget cuts. A lot of schools can't even afford basic art supplies, let alone an art teacher. I know with the schools that I internship at, Mana Willi actually pays for their teachers to go to workshops, while Ka'ele Pulu actually has the PTA fund their art teacher. Now, I'm not saying that basic core subjects aren't important, but it seems that art is often put on the back burner. I think that art should be integrated into many of our subjects because there's so many different kind of, kinds of learners. <laughs> A lot of people need visual aid to help them. I know that because I use art so much, I use it so I can do my SATs. I'm actually really terrible at math. So in order to actually get questions right, I would have to draw every single math problem so I could see. And, it's, and a lot of kids need this visual aid to help them. So for the past two years now, I've been living on my own. And I've been working 40-hour weeks at McDonald's, along with going to school and trying to make ends meet. And art was always something I used to express myself. At the beginning of my senior year, I took an art therapy session as part of my senior project, because I did my senior project on art therapy. And I learned a lot about myself because of these art therapy sessions. I would go to the classes, and I would draw something, and then I would talk about it with my art therapy 
um, art therapist. So the, I learned so much about myself because of these art therapy classes. For example, I learned the more stressed out that I was, the more swirls I would draw. I believe that in high school, maybe not art therapy, but art is extremely important because we need to express ourselves. I know that there's many other different ways that we can express ourselves, but people need, people, especially high schoolers, need this option so that they can even do so. And without it, there's, I mean, of course there's other things, but there's always art for people to express themselves. So I've realized that I really do want to become an art teacher, and it's because of all of these kids. These are pictures of my students drawing their favorite animals. And so ultimately, and awesomely, I want to be an art teacher because I want to help nurture children's creativities. And I want to help them use art in different subjects so they can learn better. And I want to help, help, I want to help people express themselves. And if all else fails, I could always go back to being a cat trainer. <laughs> Thank you.